you wonder why, even after filling your free time, even after trying every single thing online, you still fab. Watch this video because this might be one of the reasons why you do it still. Again, it will be a video about one single thing alone. Emotions. Your past. And that's it. You see, if you wonder how your past actually connects with fapping and so and so, let me explain one concept to you first. How many times did you caught yourself just there, enjoying yourself, thinking about so many beautiful things, enjoying your life, literally you have everybody just cheering you on, making you happy, like you're the happiest person in the world. Have you ever actually thought about just jacking off in that moment? Just, okay, man, I have all everything I want inside this life, but let's go ahead, go to the bathroom and do my winky wonky thing. Have you actually did something like that? Have you actually done something like that? Like, you're the happiest person in the world and you're thinking about fab. You have not done that. I have not done that. Nor there will be somebody in the future that will do the same thing as well. Nobody will do that. Why? Simply because they are happy. But how many times did it happen to you? For example, after your parents were abusive to you. After your grandparents yelled at you, after somebody just ended up being rude to you, after you had a tough day at school, you come back home, you go into your room, and even the, even the weather is raining, so you feel like this depressed cat, and you just think about ways to do revenge. And out of a sudden, you just get this thought inside your head. <coughs> Maybe I should go ahead and fap, yes. And you go ahead and fap, because it makes you feel good. You see, the human brain is designed to seek pleasure. It's designed to seek pleasure because it is the way we survived. We ran away from tigers, from lions, from everything back in those days, back in the primal days, in order for, for us to survive. And we sought, we sought out pleasure. Berries, food, mating. That is the way we survived. But nowadays, our brains are kind of lacking behind it. So you still have this instinct to survive, but it's not really serving you for good. Because you see, nowadays, this instinct of yours still holds on to the garages you have in the past, still holds on to past things that happened to you in the past. Like, for example, in my case, I had a terrible childhood. In your case, you could have the same thing or something even worse. Maybe a parent of yours died, maybe somebody else very important to you, got hurt. Maybe you got hurt by somebody. Maybe something happened to you. It goes very deep, my friend. It goes very deep. And I know how it feels. I know how it feels to literally think about a day when your mother actually slapped you because you just tried to hug her. I know how it feels to literally every day be the, the object that your own parent uses to throw their anger out at you. I know how that feels. And you may have been in the same spot. And unless you have actually cured this, you will be still thinking about it in a negative manner. Because at the end of it, it is a negative thing. Your own mother literally beating you up every single day is a negative thing. Abusive parents is a negative thing. And if you still think of it as a negative thing, of course, every single day, once you remember something from your past, you will just think about ways to just run away from it and seek some pleasure. And for us men, it is very easy. We can just go out here and fap, jack off, eat the junk food, binge it. That's it. That's pretty much it. So what now? You have all these things in your past, still not fixed, still not cured, but they are hunting you, even though they are gone, they are hunting you and they are ruining your life. Well, you see, nowadays I can even joke about the things that my mother did to me as a kid because I simply got fine with it. I simply did something that I will teach you shortly as well. And that is, I feel grateful for it. Yes, you heard me right. You may have heard of this exercise before called gratitude journaling. You see, journaling on its own 
you may call it gay, you may call it weird, you may call it girly and so and so, but you have no idea how powerful it is. And then this specific part of journaling, which is called gratitude journaling, this thing literally cured my life forever. You see, up until this point, up until I started gratitude journaling, I was always this depressed kid that every single time he would think about his mother or his past, he would get depressed. He would get so many weird, dead, bad thoughts at, at the end of it. It would happen to me to literally go at school and jack off even there. Because I wanted pleasure. I ruined my teeth with sweets. I ruined my life with fapping. I ruined my entire existence. Thanks to this thing. And it is not even your fault. It's somebody else's. But what can you do about it? Except feel grateful for it. You see, when I first started gratitude journaling, I just started writing some simple things down like, I'm grateful for this pen. I'm grateful for the clouds. I'm grateful for this air that I breathe in right now. I'm grateful for so many basic things. And I literally just wrote it down. Like five at a time. And five at a time every single day. It's not a lot. So eventually, three months pass, and I find myself, I have nothing else to be grateful for. I have been grateful for everything I see and hear and smell. I have been grateful for every single positive emotion and feeling inside my life. I have been grateful for every single positive memory inside my life. The only thing that was left was just the negatives. The abusive days. So I started being grateful for them. And on the first thing, I remember I just grabbed my journal, grabbed my pen and just, even though I didn't want it to be grateful for this, I was so against being grateful for this specific thing, I still wrote it down. I am grateful that my mother hit me when I tried to hug her as a kid. I just put the dot. And I, and I literally, literally I just felt a rock just dropping off from my heart. Okay, I think to myself, this actually works. I go ahead and journal a bit more. I write down so many things that I'm grateful for, for my dark past. And at the end of it, at the end of it, after just about one week, I just got up after journaling session. And as soon as she woke up, I went ahead and hugged her. Because she deserved it. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be who I am right now. So you see, this is the thing that I'm talking about. I saw improvement inside my past, inside my dark past. And I was grateful for that improvement. And now, thanks to that, I can just live happily and never actually just think about... I can even think about it right now. But I won't actually feel bad about it. So I will not go ahead and actually fab. I will not go ahead and eat the junk food. I will not go ahead and indulge into instant gratification. So, I know it's a longer video, but I simply had to make it longer. It's something that you have to understand. You have to start gratitude journaling. You have to start doing something that will bring you closer and closer toward your future. Otherwise, you will be just stuck living in the past. Every single day feeling bad because of a past behavior of somebody that you don't even care. So, go ahead. Start gratitude journaling. And as an actionable step from this video, I want you to gratitude journal for at least five sentences right after this video. Thank you for watching. This may have been the answer toward your question toward the reason why you still fab, because usually it is the answer to our many people's problem.